Hello, my wonderful spirit guides. Today I'm going to be reacting to Lana Del Rey featuring John Batiste Candy Necklace's music video. It's nearly 11 minutes long, um, so I wonder what the video will entail. I was going to watch it on my own until I saw a couple of people ask if I was going to react to it. And I was like, okay, I guess I'll react to it. I just didn't know how much many of you would want that. Um, I'm not sure what the video is going to be like. I don't know if it's anything amazing or if it's just kind of chill. But um, I guess we'll find out. Also, this is my first time, you might not be able to see it because my t-shirt, but it's my first time using a microphone. It might not sound amazing. I've actually just been, like, before this video started, trying to work out different, like, noise gates and so on like that and getting really upset and frustrated with it because I've just got so much surround sound, uh, you know, where I live and so on. I don't have a nice little padded fucking room to, like you know, can't start noise. So it's actually really difficult and it just makes me really upset. <laughs> like actually it's making me really, I was getting, you know, up frustrated when you're like almost bringing yourself to tears with how frustrated you are because something simple isn't going like your way, basically. I'm just like, mm, okay. But hopefully it will sound okay <laughs> because usually I just use my camera audio and I um can't start the noise in um iMovie, but with the capture of my camera, my voice does sound trebly, but when I reduce the noise in the background, it makes my voice sound muffled when I use this, so I have to do it all, like, professionally and whatever, and I don't fucking know what to do. It's actually driving me mad. And it's brought so much stress on that my back is now really, really hurting. Oh, I know it's so menial, but just, like, it really was getting to me. <sighs> But um, I have been able to change my earrings now from my starter studs to actually something a bit more dangly. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into it. Land our ray, candy necklace. The video might on, on YouTube might have like writing over the top of it just because I don't really want to be dealing with any kind of blocks and like having to cut it at billion times so yeah but at least you'll be able to see me watching the video which will be cool anyway let's get on with it nana dare candy necklaces what even i in stoplight northern town that's beautiful the production that goes into it so lana oh that was cool we're gonna go and reset a shot on John. Yeah. I don't remember. remember the names of them. No, I don't remember. My the names favorite one was when she was skateboarding down the alley in Long Beach. We, I think we started in a bar. Yep. White noise coming out of my brain. This song turns off for nothing. She looks so beautiful. I love how they cut between like the kind of just like a phone camera, you know, kind of backstage camera to like that real like film sort of camera and the quality is just so beautiful in the slow motion kind of movements that just look so elegant. Um, Someone said that this video references a lot of things. I don't know if I'm picking up on any at the moment, but I'm just getting in the feeling. I might not pick up on any. Um, I'm just in the feeling of it. I, I feel like I want to cry watching it. I know I'm already frustrated, but setting me off more. So beautiful. Dancing like the young She's so stunning. That reminds me of Burning Desire with the microphone. And of course, um Ride. I just don't know. Like, the blonde. Uh, Very Marilyn. Not be like a robot. Because it's just like I just need to shoot, shoot, shoot. It's not like working anymore for me. I'm super suicidal. I just say the word, but baby. Wow. <laughs> yes. She's stunning. Look how cute she looks with that hair. She's like, I don't want to be like a robot. Oh, no. The whole thing about the video was like, why it was all supposed to be behind the scenes was because a lot of these women who like change their name, change their hair like me and stuff. 
it's like they all fell into these different different like snake holes. So the whole point is like, how do you learn from that and not fall into your own thing? Wow. Seeing the whole thing, the behind the scenes, all of it. See the truth. I'm walking, I'm walking, mother is walking. Good. It's nice to see her take direction like that. And I'm obsessed with this. Candy necklaces. The song just does something to me. Ooh. That's very classic Born to Die. Look there. Beautiful. I love that they got him on the piano. I love that he's in the video. Looks like a million dollar man. <laughs> the different versions. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> We've been acting pretty restless. Oh, I just get shivers Dancing every time she starts singing. Candy wow. Pearls, candy necklaces. Wow, all of it. Gorgeous. The diamonds. In what? Wine or blood? Oh, wow, is it like candy necklaces? Was it like she was candy found in the trunk, necklaces. sort of thing? Candy necklaces. That's beautiful. Candy That's beautiful, and it's in colour now. Out with the old and with the new. And she's smiling again. Don't know why it made me emotional. I was already emotional, you know, I was. Yeah, so anyway, you know I was already bloody emotional. <laughs> so this is just like, oh my God, it's making me more emotional. So after editing uh, this for YouTube, obviously I have to like go through the video in detail to choose what bits to cut and whatever. Um, um, yeah, all that business. But as I was watching the video again, it actually made me think of Lady Di uh, Princess Diana, sorry, a little bit. Um, just in the car bit and then the paparazzi and all that and again Princess Diana had a very bubbly and out there personality she couldn't really be held down even though she was in the royal family she was very um, bubbly and sweet there was something about it that was outgoing and very likeable so that's interesting as well um, but also I noticed when she's putting her Hollywood star down it, she's not wearing a necklace at all and there's so many necklaces and so on the candy necklaces the diamond necklaces the pearls whatever throughout and at the end she's not wearing any necklace and i feel like that resembles she can't be owned in some way she can't be bought um and she's not just this pretty decoration she is a person so yeah i really did want to mention those things because i'd be annoyed if i didn't <laughs> so yeah there you go um Okay, yeah. So it felt a little bit like out with the old, in with the new. This is the reality. Let's look at the behind the scenes as well as the music video, like this beautiful looking music video. But the behind the scenes not always being so pretty, you know? Sometimes behind the scenes is saying, get out my frame, get out my frame, I'm walking you. It's tiring. You got the vision. You need to like get it done. And, you know, and she's like, I don't want to be like a robot. I want to be like this. I want to, I want to, you know, she's giving direction for what she wants, you know, she's really t telling people what she wants, and that's like, that's what we want, you know, and that's what we want, so that's really beautiful, and uh, clever, the way she done it all as well, um, I don't know why it makes me emotional, that trunk a bit though, that was interesting, like, it's like she was found dead in a trunk, but it was like, an old version of her and maybe those diamonds were falling into blood also this necklace here that she's wearing for out for the most of the video the like jewel diamonds or whatever they are uh like what is that significant is has she worn that another time i can't remember you'll have to let me know but it seems really significant 
for some reason. And then, like, yeah, she's, like, kind of... I guess it's her found in the trunk of the car. Uh, that's probably why there's bloods and diamonds and stuff to, to kind of resemble a murder or some sort of death. Because there's, like, on the trunk, there's, like, this blood as well. Even though it's in black and white, you imagine it's blood, then there's paparazzi. And then John Batiste being like, what? You know? And then it cuts to her you know, p- placing down her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and it turns to colour, there's a brightness, maybe a change, a difference, a happiness, a rebirth, a-, a power. She earned that, you know, even though she was pushed to do things or something before and felt a bit vulnerable and fragile, she now feels strong and, you know, in herself. So that's what I was getting for the feeling wise but I'd love to know what else you got from it and what you feel like the story is I don't think I could pick up on it straight away first watch but um amazing oh my god it's so annoying it's like you know I was already feeling sad normally I do a video and I start cheering up but because it's Lana Del Rey obviously I wasn't going to cheer up I was just going to feel more sad because it's just so beautiful I'm about to react to Mermaids by Florence the Machine next so <sighs> please don't be too sad Florence <laughs> but um yeah, anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope all this mic situation has turned out okay. Don't even know if I want to use a mic. Like, I feel like if I'm using a mic, I kind of want to use it like this, like hold it because otherwise I'll get a bad back if I'm constantly like that. So I feel like I need to be a bit more like, yeah, basically, la la la, la la la, la la la. I don't know how I'm doing it yet. I'm just, I hate new things and I hate change. I like change in some ways, but only if it goes right. <laughs> Not if it's difficult. So whatever sorry bit of a weird video but <laughs> i'm going away for a couple of days next week so i had to get videos done today and the pressure of it was just frustrating and the microphone business just really wound me up and now i feel rubbish but i do i am really glad i watched this video I thought it was extremely beautiful she looks extremely beautiful i felt like it was really telling it it had a lot of feminine power to it you know and her in that blonde wig damn definitely give me Marilyn because like Marilyn was so like she did what she wanted you know Marilyn was a comedian really as well like she's a funny girl and like but she was beautiful with it but she was wild at heart and um you know I think Lana was trying to embrace that a little bit I don't know if she was trying to be Marilyn in there but in that bit with the blonde I don't know if it was a Lizzie Grant sort of thing but it it looked too like Marilyn to be Lizzie Grant if you know what I mean so I'm not entirely sure but yeah I just think that was a really beautiful awesome video and um yeah thank you so much and I shall see you next time bye